What's going on everybody? Apex Pure and welcome back to another Man 18 Ultimate Team live stream. And today we have six new debuts. And those players are 93 overall Ultimate Legends piece Dan Deerdorf. 95 overall out of position. I don't know why it's out of position, but Snow Beast, I guess you could say. Bo Jackson, 95 overall Dante Culpepper. Our first Ultimate Legend, full Ultimate Legend that is. And 97 overall Freddie B. Our backup running back, Deion Lewis, Super Bowl edition. And Telvin Smith. Now I think I, I think that's everyone. So what we're going to do is just play some head-to-head uh, -head games. We're 3-0 so far this season, which is good. My game takes long to do everything. I don't know why. Hope it lets me play. Doesn't disconnect me, which it seems like it's probably going to do. Come on, Madden. Did it freeze? Like, what did it do? I don't know if it's just my Madden, but it messes up all the time. So annoying. Hopefully we can get the actual hopefully we can actually play and I don't have to end the live stream. EA Sports. It's in the game. To me it's all about Tom Brady. He's just one of those guys that if the game's on the line, you need a big play. Come on, Madden, hurry up. Every game nowadays takes way too long to start up. And the loading screens are just way too damn long. In every game nowadays. Is this like seriously not going to work? Like, are you serious? Like, Madden, what are you doing? If it doesn't work, I'm just going to end the stream here and try again later. This is bullshit, honestly. Because there's, there's just too much stuff wrong with this game that they need to fix.
best in the game. To me, it's all about Tom Brady. He's just one of those guys that if the game's on the line, you need a big play, he'll make that play for you. And my game also does that to where it says there's a new update, but you click it, nothing happens. It's been like that for months. Alright, third time's the charm. Thank you. God damn EA, fix your shit. Finally. So we're 3 0, and that was from last stream. It'd be nice if we could win a Super Bowl this season, since I haven't won a Super Bowl in the past three games. Hopefully we don't get matched up with someone that's crazy OP. We gotta wait fucking five minutes just to get into a game. All right, so that's our top three. Wow, Vic, Vaughn, and Julio. Figures. Hopefully he's garbage though. Stadium itself might be a bit newer, but it's a rivalry that still burns hot. And here we go. The battle Come on, Deshaun. Santa Clara. This fielded at the two. Ah. And he'll be taken down just past the 20 at about the 21 yard line. So, gonna get to run with Bo. Never used Bo Jackson in Madden before. And I think it's kind of past the time where he'd be OP. Hopefully he's still good, but he's probably not going to be OP. And it's lagging. Madden, fix your game. Like, for real. There we go, Bo. I like it. I like it. That O line, they cleared a big hole there on that run. The athleticism of offensive lines continues to evolve, and we're seeing it here. Not only the control and things, mm, stuffed at that time. Upfield to get to what we call the second and the third levels. You know, get to linebacker spot, the secondary spot, getting all the way downfield with their blocking, which helps keep the running. Put two blockers here. Trend here this afternoon. Two pretty good run blocking receivers as well. Put it back in. See, I hate that so much. That happened to me with AP all the time. Like, I turn my stick to the right to cut it back in, and they just don't. Do I have to, like, flick it? Let's go, Dion. And he's taken down at the I need it. But not before picking up the first. Solid gain of 18 at a rate. He's got pretty good catching stats, so that's why I put him at um maybe not good, but decent, so I put him as my third down instead of bow. And he'll take this one down to about the 40. A gain of three, second down. Not much happening there on first down. I thought there might have been a hole for a split second. Yeah, but it dried up pretty quickly, didn't it? Closed fast. Now a carry for the shifty Dion Lewis. Let's go, Lewis. He's going to get this inside the 30. A pickup of 10, and it's enough for an Oakland first down. Boy, he does it at a high level, doesn't he? Because when I watch him, I think All right. 
I'm gonna need a hot one right here, Cole Pepper. Right there. I can already tell the throw power. I can already tell the difference. Such a big difference from going to Nick Foles to Cole Pepper with that. And I finally have a mobile quarterback, and I don't think I've used a mobile quarterback all year. And Cole Pepper is in for the touchdown. Let's go. I think he's got 86 speed, so. Scoring on the sneak from a yard out. And the Raiders drive right down the field and score on the opening drive. He knocks it through. All right, now we got to worry about his Vic. His teared up Vaughn and Julio. So I'm. Um, Gonna make sure to put a QB spy out on every damn down. Play ball, aggressive. See what he's gonna do. Come out of cover four first, just to see what he's gonna do. Clark Walker could be running, and he is. Looks like he has Bo also. My Bo better be breaking tackles like that. I love what my linemen are doing. Just getting caught on each other. They'll set up a throw. Forced out to his left. Oh, god damn. Oh, I'm switching out of that. A very solid gain of 27. We talk about mobility on quarterbacks all the time. Here's where it really pays off. There we go. Move, evade, and is accurate throwing on the first down. That's going to go to 4 3. It'll be second down. And the offense will be looking to get at least some of this yardage back here. It's second and 12. A play action fake. They'll look to get on who I wanted to get on. Pick. Let's go, Gilmore. Let's go. And they are going to set up shop at the 40 yard line. He had two, two or three picks last stream, too. Been putting in work. Make sure he's absolutely in an open spot. There's a guy lurking, took the ball from Yeah, so don't wave your arms, right? All right, that's just horrible running. Terrible. Just don't do it. No gain. Come on, Bo. Second down. Gotta do something. Where'd he come from? I mean, I guess he came off the corner, but really nice play. Want to get a big run this game. Answered at the same time. That's exactly where he came from, but it's not something that you normally see. Most of the time, we're thinking about those guys covering pass catchers. In this case, he was a big factor in a run game. No game. Come on, Bo. Oh, nope. It's Dion. On third down. It's Lewis. Uh, no holes. This one up only to about the 44-yard line. Just a gain of two there, and it's going to bring up a fourth right, uh, down. Go with levels. The first quarter's about to end anyways. And they're going to at least line up to go for it here on fourth down. Here we go. What's that? What's that? Ready to go now in the second quarter. Brandon Gordon. They'll break the huddle here and go for it. This is fourth down. Right, someone get open. They'll try and throw for it here. Of course. Shit happens to me way too much. I bought offensive line and it still happens. Not even sending a blitz. Good tackle. He's immediately taken down at the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play. It'll be second down. 
Well, usually you don't think of the cornerback coming in for a no-gain play, but that's what we had there. Nice tackle. Yeah, and how about the range, too? Coming from the outside part of the play, moving his way into the inside and making that play happen. No gain for the offense. Big play for the defense. And he Good is hit. Pretty hard from the side as he's knocked down right around the 30. Where are we going to run? Call it about a gain of three, and they'll be looking at a third and seven coming up. Send a blitz. He getting stuck on people. Hell no. And a third down pass falls incomplete. I know he wants to get his team back in the game, but a 50 50 ball. At least we held him the three. Maybe was a little questionable. Yeah, he's pretty lucky to get that one back. I think that sometimes these quarterbacks play with a lot of confidence that borders on arrogance, and that can put your team in some dutch. Yeah, especially maybe want to look at some safer routes after the interception he had that ended their last drive. So a good snap, good hold, and that one's right down the middle. Never in doubt. Just the way you used to hit him, Brandon. <laughs> All right. I want Bo to have a big run. He, he really hasn't done anything yet. And on that last drive, went for it on fourth, turned it over. A good job by their defense, so they held him to three. But this offense, they've got to be a little bit better, a little bit more careful here. And sometimes when you see these calls on fourth down, when they decide to go for it, it's not necessarily... Damn. Saying, I believe in Bro, make a play. Sometimes the coach saying, I believe in my defense. I can afford to go for it here, because if we don't get it, I don't think we'll give up more than three. And that's exactly what happened there. you think there. that factored in? I do. I think that he had that in his mind going into the game, that I'm going to be aggressive on offense, because I know I've got a defense. Come on, Bo. Their end. Back to throw. Being chased out left. And this one will go to the 28-yard line. He'll wind up getting four there on his own, but it will leave him now. Good thing he didn't fumble, because he has like 60, 60 son carrying. Keeping his eyes downfield, waiting for someone to get open. But once the pressure forced his eyes down right. to see the rush, it was time to make a break. And I gotta remember too, I don't have conductor anymore, which sucks. Alright. Over the middle. Hold on. Oh my god. Hold on to the ball. But you saw the contact, able to jar it free from Barely even hit you, bro. Great play defensively there, as you said, just to knock it free. Because if he had caught that, pass the sticks, first down. Again. <laughs> Again, bro. Like, what the fuck? He's able to get in there for a loss of nine. The 49er offense now making their way out onto the field. And after the field goal last time, we'll see what they can get here. And at least they got points out of the last drive, Charles. I never met an offensive coach that didn't want to drive to end with a kick. <laughs> Most of them want to end with a PAT, right? In this case, I fucking hate people that run screens. Into the end zone, it's a 49er touchdown. A great effort there. From 19 yards away. And the Niners are able to cash in for six. And his kick is good. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. And that'll carry over the back line of the end zone for a touchback. The Raiders offense now making their way back out onto the field. And last time this unit was out here. All right, Cole Pepper, you're gonna need to throw some dots. Points. They've got to make amends. And how many times have we sat in meetings with coaches and they use the term complimentary football? <laughs> offense take care of the defense. Defense take care of the offense. That didn't happen on the last possession. It's not what I want to see. Not what I want to see at all. Yeah, we'll see if they can recoup and recover. But one thing that I've liked defensively is that they've shown them a lot of different. Fuck. In the first half. Can't move the ball. Back I think that's what you need to do to keep an offense guessing. And they certainly have kept them on their toes. That's why they haven't had much success on the scoreboard. They'll run it now out of the gun. <laughs> Two minutes to go here in the first half. We'll come back here right after this. Hmm, this doesn't look good. They run again with Jackson, and he's got room. 
Why? What? Oh my god, what the fuck was that, bro? What was that? It's that type of game today, isn't it? There we go. Look like the defense put pretty good pressure on him, but he's able to flush out to his right to try and evade people. On the run, had to get Come on. We got this. And he's going to fight his way forward here for a modest gain. He'll get a nice chunk there on the first down run, and it's second and four. That play wasn't quite as big as the play that preceded it, but still. Gotta like the way they're moving the football partner. Absolutely. Pretty good room to That Vaughn is way too good. Yeah, they didn't get a first down, but still just like for like real. Each and every time. He's always in position. To make something happen. Get your head around. Locate the football so you can make a play on it while it's in the air. That's exactly what he did there. That was there we go. And he's gonna have a first down here as he gets this one to the 17 yard line. Alright, Freddie B. Touchdown right now. Let's go. Absolutely love the run right there. This guy's known for his quickness, but also for his speed. He's able to get to the second level nope. before you blink if you give him any type of blocking. Always talk about slot receivers. And they're usually known as quicker than fast. In this case, we've got a guy who's quick and fast, and he used it to great advantage. He'll get five out of the scramble. It's second down. Come on, Kelsey. <clears throat> Come on, Kelsey. Oh, everything's covered, bro. He's, his line is just shedding me so easily. What's the old adage? Be quick, but don't hurry. Well, that went right out the window there. He was hurried, harassed. That ball had to be gotten rid of. Otherwise, he was going to get sacked. On third down. That's Lewis. And he has the first down before he's tackled at the five. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. I definitely like the play call. You don't expect it on third and five, third and six, do you? You expect the pass play. Have a little courage there to call the run. Is he like, like, how is he doing that? That he's just, his safe earth corner's coming down. Does he like, is he able to send him? Because how is he doing that? Like his corner comes down as soon as I move out of the pocket every time. This entire game. I've never seen that before. And to think, there's still a long way to go in this football game. And now for the offense, Don't I know what the fuck to run. Here on this drive. From the shotgun, he'll look to throw. Click the button. Thought I was getting done with that with Nick Foles. Click the button, but no, you don't throw the ball. What's up, Johnson? And he's run like he's sending the same blitz every time. And it gets in every time. Time on the horizon, they'll be out of timeouts from here forward. Probably missed. And McManus nope. able to put it through, and that I've been pissed if I miss that. that All right, well, what we need to figure out how to do is stop that blitz. And what a way to end the half! Put some points on the board, feel better about yourselves as a team, and you're right back to even. Need to like I don't know pick formations where I have my running back and tight end or something. And San Francisco gets set to go here. And from this spot in the field with the clock where it's at, you think we're just gonna see a knee and that's it? And I think in this situation, that's the proper play. But we do know there's off the line, Bo. They may want to take one more shot before the clock runs out. Hit as he throws there, incomplete. He gets ball though. This is good. These two teams apparently anxious to get back at it. So both teams have their marching orders, and we'll get going again here in quarter number three. This will be fielded at the eight. And he'll 
take this across the 25. A couple extra yards up to the 27-yard line. Here comes the 49ers offensive unit as they'll have it first to begin this third quarter. They have a chance to break our tie here as we get a look at the first drive of quarter three. And it's such a tone setter, isn't it? With their both sides trying to seize momentum to begin the half. What do they have dialed up that'll give them an and he can't escape. Where did they think he was going right there? Well, they go like, the honestly. The problem is nobody was faked out. <laughs> and when no one's faked out, what's the end result? Sad. Quarterback gets hit. <laughs> He took a hit on that last play. Now let's see how he and the offense respond on second. They're going to look to throw. I didn't even notice he was running a screen <laughs> until he threw it. I didn't even realize this shit's crazy. I wonder what was going through his mind when he got the play call. He just got sacked on the previous play. He knows they're coming after him again. A little bit of guts to stand in there, take the hit, and successfully complete the screen pass. All right, come on, defense. Second down, that brings up third. Give me another turnover like you did the first drive. Look to throw here. Pick it. This, is this motherfucker caught it. They're able to convert on third with a solid gain of 23. This motherfucker caught that shit. Sean Jackson do? Right, we know about the catches. We just saw another one there. Also gets involved in the return game. And he can break big plays like that. We've seen him do it throughout his NFL career. And we have. What are you thinking of anything in particular? Yeah, I'm still remembering a certain Giants punter <laughs> not following orders. And Deshaun Jackson made that big time return all the way back. Yeah, B-Dog just going to invite me to a party on the Xbox. A disbelief on the Giants sideline. Here we go. And this has been a familiar sight all afternoon as they stop him behind the line. This will be a two yard loss on the play. And that'll make it second and 12. What's good, Interior? Now they'll throw here out of the gun. Bringing it in, Jackson left side. Got good blocking on that play. Never seen that. Hawks drive trail. That sets him up better for third down. When you see zone defense and you know you've got a drag route on mm. as your primary call, you've got to be really careful as a passer about how far you let your guy go because he might wander into some tough coverage. Another screen, figures. They set up the screen for Henry, and he'll be brought down inside the 20 at the 19. And a screen only good for three that time, and it'll bring up a fourth down. They dialed up the screen pass on third down, and for a second, it looked like it was all going to come together, and they had a chance to pick up a first down, but the defense got there and finished. Right, we held them to three again, so we got to capitalize on that. Indeed good, and they will take the lead at 13 to 10. So the drive stalls out, but they are able to put three points on the board. Yeah, just a yard or two shorter than an extra point, so no problems converting there. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. All right, let's go. Bo hasn't done anything yet, and I need him to. So here comes the Raiders offense getting ready for their first possession of the second half. They trail offense. This guy does have a really good team though. And we'll see what they can do. And I can't wait to see. And can't run the Vaughn side because he shuts shit down. Other teams just go, okay. These are the sequence of plays we want to run. These things worked well for us. And sometimes they throw Only 45 them. yards on 11 rushes. Terrible. Try and get after them early and try and create a big play to give themselves some momentum. See what they have up their sleeve. He'll look to throw. Escaping the pressure right. To the right side, it's Kelsey. And down he goes, but he takes it up to the four. Running the same blitz still. Yards that time at an Oakland first down. Oh, yeah. Can I give this time to the tailback? Come on, Bo. Do something. As he'll get this up only to about the 41. Credit Just gonna let the clock run out. Fuck that. Nine. Tough day. Tough sledding right there, and it's been that way the entire game. Not a whole to ramble for him. Yeah, you're right. It's been that way all afternoon. Didn't get it. Back now here in Santa Clara. 
It's been a very hotly contested game to this point. Just a field goal separating these two teams as we get set for the fourth quarter. They'll look to throw. Dance into his left. Looking left side, and he's got this dude's getting instant block shots. And he'll get up to the 43 yard line. That throw good for only a couple and brings up third down. Who's he have? Too tall? Vaughn? I mean, you got a quarterback out of the pocket looking for any help. I guess waving the arms is helpful. It looks helpful. like. It certainly is because you got to get his attention because now you're in scramble drill. So everyone's adjusting their routes, finding open space, and he found the right spot for the completion. He'll drop to throw. Oh, I could have threw it to Kelsey. The pressure right. As soon, as soon as I get out of the pocket, he sends them right away. But that brings up fourth. And I have, like, no chance because no one blocks him. One score down. Here we go. They're going to go for it here on fourth down. Let's go. As expected, they're going for it to keep the drive alive. Hot one. Going down the middle, and it's complete. It's a gain of 21 that time. And it'll give the Raiders a first down. Felt compelled to go for it there on fourth down, trailing in the fourth quarter. They got it done. And there's always a lot of pressure on a fourth down call. Doesn't matter the distance. The stop to get it done, as you noted. And they did. Damn. Never seen anyone do that. How about a tip of the cap to the defense? They're working against a very mobile quarterback, but all day long they've kept it. I need to know how to do that. They held him to a short game. Literally, as soon as I get out of the pocket, he sent someone. They'll look to throw. Nope. Ah, oh, fuck. I didn't think he was going to be able to get it. It's probably game. This has been a tough day for him. Hate that shit. Literally run one play all game and it works no matter what. To the secondary, especially the corners, we've had the receivers on lockdown. Now they'll run it on the toss. And he'll snag about five yards down to the 32. Got to figure now getting that turnover. They're just going to be happy. It's great matchmaking, though, man. And I'm surprised I'm even in this game with the team he has. Because Madden's, Madden's matchmaking is so horrible. After a gain of five, they'll wind up being about a length of the football short here on third down. The battle in the trenches is never more important than right now. This is third and inches. Time for a break. We're back to see what happens after this. The offense on third down tonight, just one for three thus far. They're looking at third Ooh. and a few inches. Wow. He had someone over the top, too. Really good, smart play by the defense. I thought he was going to run to the right. Short, guarding the first down sticks and being able to make a play in the football. I got to stop him. He's probably going to go for it. All right, this is big if I can get this, honestly. And here's a big one now. Try to hold this lead. They're going to go All right, Bo. on fourth down. Shit, better not be a screen. Back it is. <laughs> I fucking knew it. Try the screen. It's complete. I fucking knew it. The first down here as he's taken down. Thought it was going to go to the left side. Oh, it was. Six on the play. <laughs> I knew it. On fourth and inches. It's fuck that's annoying. Literally knew exactly what he was doing. Still couldn't stop it. Can I get a fumble? Shit. Like, look at his team compared to mine. Give me something. That's when it's fun to play defense. When you're able to diagnose a play right from the beginning, get all your guys to the football and spill the play. That's when you have a lot of fun playing on that side of the ball. And he'll give it here to his running back. And he's going to get this one down inside the 15. And he's able to get most of what he needed on the carry there. Seven yards. They do need to make it. By, well, the, and to me, it just need, it needs to be not just by overall, but by skill as well. Now a handoff here to his running back. And he's across for the late touch. Because how are you going to put me up against someone who has ultimate legend Vic? 
that replay wait right? the replay's Vaughn. Is that what it is, yeah. Teared up. Like that's crazy. Like he's hitting the right trigger. What does that do? That sends him down. Can we get like um someone who doesn't have like a 97 overall team please? Be nice. And now we get a peek at some of the top players here for this Madden Ultimate Team matchup. Brandon God and Charles Davis ready to go in the booth. We hope you're ready to go at the control. Great. Let's play. Love the matchmaking in Madden. Look, gotta love it. Got to love it. Out is the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. Fielded about a yard deep. And he will take it back only to about the 13 yard line here. Well, conventional football, football 101, tells us if you don't get it back to the 20-yard line on a kickoff return, that's a disappointment. But some of these team special teams coaches, with approval by the head coach, they give them full authority to go ahead and bring it out and try to beat it. Matchmaking in this game is so bad. Like, it really is so bad. And he's going to lose yardage here back to the 12-yard line. He'll wind up losing a yard on the play, and that'll bring up a second and 11. Especially for someone like me who uh, I don't know any, like, special blitzes. So I can't send anything except for stock. Flushed out right. Now he's going to let it go deep right sideline. And incomplete. Oh, Carmichael. Charge the ball free and brings up third down. This team is not going to make it easy for you. They're a physical group, and we just saw it there on that play. He came in, made the contact, just as he's trying to haul it in. That was a pretty decent throw, too. They'll need to get the playoff quickly. A little trouble thus far on their open. Hey, I clicked A. That's the game's fault. And with the play clock running out, Jack Del Rio's going to take a timeout. They'll have two remaining as we step aside here in this first quarter. Little trouble thus far on their opening drive as they come up on a third and 11. They'll set up to throw. Buying time to his left. Now he's going to go. Oh, you saw that one coming. It's intercepted. Thrown back across his body. Picked off by Champ Bailey. Certainly not how they envisioned ending their opening drive here in the first. Could have just threw it away. Either way, it would have been fourth down. Probably would have went for it. Wouldn't have got it. Throwing to start the drive. Mmm, come on. Stayed inside the 30. And they're able to get this one past the 30. Since I forget to do this every game. Run three five. Do I even have that? No. Run three three five. Yeah, I do. That's what you're talking about. Offense comes to the line now. First and ten. Okay. 
got Barry. Never ran this. Never ran any of these. And there's a run to be happy with. Good solid yardage. He'll take that anytime. Well, that's the play that Kai was running all last game. Even though I had it. Ohio, Ohio. Do you have to I wonder if he set it set anything up or did he just ran it stock? Gonna give this time to the tailback. And this time not as successful as he'll get back to the line of scrimmage and no more. No gain on the play that time, and they'll look to convert on what'll be a third and four. Looking mm. to throw. Move. It's caught. Wish I knew how to fucking read defenses. Or and the the offenses down. as well. At the one. Back to throw. Move. And it's not a pick though. Okay. Down this close to the goal line, first down. Surprised that wasn't a run. I am, and you know I'm old school. I want to run the ball on first down in this situation because second down, that gives me that option of running play action and maybe throwing it. Offense looks to punch it in here from the one on second and goal. And he's going to go backward. They get him behind the line. They'll lose a yard, and it brings up third. We all have habits. We can be somewhat predictable, and you know me pretty well on second down and short. What I like to say, play action. Yeah, without a doubt, I thought that was a great spot to call it. Instead, didn't go their way, did it? Now, defense sold out for the run. And he's got his man. It's caught for a lion touchdown. Well, that's about as quick of a passing touchdown as you'll ever see right there. Everyone has a section in their playbook called the quick game. That was a super quick game. Out of the hands of the thrower. Bam, right to the receiver, successfully for a touchdown. How in-depth is that quick game part of the playbook? It's pretty in-depth because people want the ball in the hands of the quarterback into the playmaker's hands downfield as fast as possible. There are a lot of plays, a lot of options involved with that. See, these have Fortnite when I get frustrating. Can't talk. When I get frustrated at playing, I still want to keep playing. This game, you get frustrated. You don't want to play anymore. Just any interception. Are you a little bit more cautious when you start that next drive? Or you just throw that out the window. I think you are. I don't think that there's any way you can run back out there and go, ah. Like, I understand in weekend league getting put up with, put up getting put up against teams like this, but in a head-to-head, -head, that's stupid. Like, how is this kid... Like, if he's in the same division as me, that kind of blows my mind with the team he has. And he's going to get this one across the 30-yard line. That one good for 13 and a Raider first down. Well, how many times do we say in this game is speed kills, and it does it in so many different ways. In this case, you got a back who's quick and shifty, can make moves, make people miss. Tutorials? Like, are you talking about in Madden? Like, in Madden? To that speed, not just out running people in the secondary. So I don't, I don't nice do that. And he will lose yardage here to the 31 yard line. It's a loss of a yard there, and now second down. Wow, that play got shut down in a hurry. I, I just run what I think is going to stop it. Closing in. That was going nowhere. Yeah, you count on your offensive line based off what I think he's what I think he's going to run and what I think is going to stop it. There was none there for him. They'll set up a throw. Forced out to his left. Going deep for Hop. Well, wow. It it's Let's go, Hopkins. Good catch. That should have been. He had a step on him anyways. He shouldn't even. He did like an aggressive animation. DeAndre Hopkins. 69 yards. And the Raiders, they're within an extra point of tying this thing up. Such a good catch right there. Let's go. It's good, and we're all tied at seven apiece. In the beginning of the year, I, I learned like two blitzes, and then I, since I stopped using them for like a while, I didn't play the game for a couple weeks, like I forgot them, which was crazy. It was, I for, even forgot, I think it was out of 3-4. One of them was out of that pitchfork play. When you score, I forget. It's a whole lot better view than when you're trying and then another one fix maybe was a buck slant. I forget what it was, but I knew a couple blitzes. On first and ten, move. Thank you. 
Who is that? Trey Flowers. Let's go. Great job defensively. I think he was trying to go through his progressions, find someone to get rid of the football before he knew it. He was on his back. So that just brings us right back to what you said in the beginning. A great job Let's defensively. Go. Nowhere to go with the football. That led to the sack. And that will fall incomplete. Oh, Good thing he dropped it because that little lag spike right there could have got me. Still 14 yards left. Try to send sign and see if it comes in. Looking to throw. Keeps running the same play. I think. Incomplete. It's always tough for the guys throwing the football when they think they've got a completion and the ball's almost there and then someone's engage eight. When was engage eight the that that's a crit that sends everyone. So on fourth down, here's Marquette King to punt it away. And this one will be touched down inside the 40-yard line. And now here come the Raiders. Right, I want to use Bo like the way I see everyone else use Bo. Hasn't happened yet. He puts everyone on the line. Ah, uh, maybe I could have. Maybe I should have kept going outside. Five yards on the carry. Good pickup on first down. Um. Maybe I'll catch him lacking with this play. Catch Freddie B deep. Hopefully. Give me time to throw it. Give me. Ah. Uh, fuck. I had a feeling that was gonna happen. All I needed was time to throw it. You never know who's going to get home. In this case, the left cornerback right in the face of him puts him down. He's just sending everyone. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. <laughs> My dumb. Because I don't even know what to fucking do when you do that. Because no one no one's opened right off the jump. And guess what? The nickel came into play well. Five defensive backs. They covered well. Like, literally, no one's open right away. So, what am I supposed to do? This kid's garbage, too, which is pissing me off. <laughs> this kid's fucking sucks. I look like fucking shit. Because he literally just blitzes everyone and no one gets open, so I can't throw it to anyone. It'll set up a second and seven. Yeah, that wasn't a big run, just a short one there. But guess what? Sometimes you treat it like boxing. You throw that jab out there and you throw it again, you throw it again, then you come with a big punch later. Maybe they're just trying to set him up. Looking to throw on second down. I was going there too. It's a 10 yard gain there and it sets him up now first and goal. And he's going to get this back to the three yard line and no further. No gain on the play that time and it sets up second and goal. I'll try H I'll try that. Try to do an HB wheel next. In a tightly contested first half. We'll come back to Ford Field. After this, looking to jam the receivers at the line here. Press coverage look defensively. Now a handoff here to his running back. And they'll get him down just shy of the goal line at about the one. And give him two yards officially, and now it'll be third and goal. Back to throw. Move. And that is incomplete. Let's give this defense a Take you three. Now. They let the guy get downfield. But when push came to shove, they stood their ground. And now they'll likely force a field goal attempt. A field goal would break the tie, but look at this. Instead, they're going to go for it on fourth and goal. 
Looking to throw. Moon. And that is caught. Are you kidding me? This is horrible. This is about the same way I started last week's stream. Got two losses and then won like three or four straight after that. Big time for them. How about them just deciding to go for it on fourth down? And oh, okay, forget the field goal because that looked like an easy three points. Yeah, you might have had a defensive breakdown in there, but they pressed the issue and found a way to get it into the end zone. Give them big credit for that. And now Oakland ready to take the field. And last time out, went for it on fourth down, turned it over, gave them great field position, turned it to six points, so they've got to recover here, Charles. It's amazing what one decision can do in the chain of events, right? The decision to go for it. <laughs> I'm fucking trash. Picked off right around the 43. And they'll set up shop in enemy territory at the 45-yard line. This interception will go on the record of the quarterback. But as a receiver, you've got oh, wow. to understand where you are in the field. As soon as I threw it. I knew after I threw it. I was like, I probably should have threw it to Kelsey. Looking downfield for Jones. Oh. It's that kind of day. It's that kind of day. Yeah, next time. I gotta pay attention. Gonna give this time to the tailback. And he's gonna take it in for a lion touchdown. A great play there. A three-yard touchdown run. And the Lions are able to grow their lead. I feel like shit. Playing this game every year. Haven't won a Super Bowl in fucking three years. I play like over a hundred games at least those seasons. It goes. Fielded about a yard deep. Spinning past him. And all that work, but he stopped where he ultimately would have been. And he You're right. I didn't. That's the 25 yard line. Do it right now. Oakland ready to take the field. And last time wasn't pretty. One play and an interception. We'll see if they can do better. I want to see if they want to go ahead and throw the ball again now on this drive after what happened on the last one. Throw it on the first play. Give the quarterback some confidence. See what happens. Good call. Since I never see shit. Yeah, but not before he gets into enemy territory. A very solid gain of 27. Let's go. Watch out. Ohio. Ohio. Are you going to use her it? Nope. Complete the tight end, Kelsey. And all the way in, touchdown, Oakland. Wow. Travis Kelsey, 48. He does suck. That's what was pissing me off. Have cut it back to within a score. Thank you. I'm not the fucking, I'm not a Madden mastermind, so it's hard for me to see a shit. Half, a game, a series, whatever. But they're finishing the first half in fine style, putting that one in the end zone. They did. They didn't leave much time on the clock either. Well done. Now McManus on to kick this one off. This will be taken in at the one. And a good return as he'll be stopped just shy of the 30-yard line. And Detroit getting set to go now. And we'll see how this is played. Offensively, they've got the lead. Not a whole lot of time left. What do you think? Charlie? Yeah, usually I... uh. User Hendrix. But a mistake there. I can change things in a big way. I say go ahead, take the knee, get on out. There we go. It's a loss of two there, bringing up second down. When he's at his position. That's who I usually use her. I don't know why. I just I'm not the biggest fan of using my middle linebacker. On top of him before he could take his first step. Yeah, that too. He is catching some crazy, crazy throws. Caught, he just caught that one last drive in double coverage. To throw on second down. Moon. Looking deep for if he catches this one. And that is incomplete. Stopping the clock with five seconds to go. The Pro Bowl wide out Julio. Surprise Warren Moon overthrew that. That card looks really good. Oh, shit. I got stuck. Got stuck. He's gonna air one out. Thank you. 
picked off at the 36. And he will be brought down as time is now run out go. of this first half of action. All right, hang on here. We'll jump over halftime. Yeah. I do. Okay, all set. Third quarter now. I do have to hit the practice field. But that's why like the description of my channel is gameplay for the average gamer because I'm I just consider myself an average player at Madden because I don't look up blitzes. Um I watch football. I have red zone. I watch every team. But like I don't pay attention to offenses and defenses and schemes and that. Like probably most Madden players do. How many things do we do? Like the way I play, let's go. The way I play would probably consider me as a casual, but I play fucking every day for like four hours, so I don't consider myself a casual. Let's tip the cap to the defense here. Not a problem at all, my man. I'm not even gonna tip it. I'm gonna doff my cap to him. Congratulations, big time play. Knocking it free and creating something good for your team. Let's go, Hendrix boy. Just gotta make one man miss. Now a handoff as they run left side. Looking for a See? That's the second time that happened. Where it spun twice. Didn't move the stick twice, so why would it spin twice? Alright. Just run this again. It's not going to be open this time. Holy shit. <laughs> I thought I thought I was going to be able to juke his ass out. Try to high point past that. Brandon, it looked like he had his hands on it for a moment, but let, let's face it, that was going to be a tough catch all the way because of the presence of the defense right there as he was trying to haul it in. Yeah, nice job to force the incompletion. Now on fourth down, Jack Del Rio is going to send on the field goal unit. To be honest, I'm not really understanding your question, Tony. Manis, able to put it through. And the drive will wind up. Why do you not play the solos? A decent drive there to start so you just buy that, the key pack or whatever that's in the store? Is that what you're talking about? But I, I still think you, because you, you need one key, you need one key to open up the heroic ones. And then, don't you need one? Yeah, you need, I forget, what do you need? You need like two keys? So in other words, someone got lucky because they've been moving the ball really well and wearing them down. In this case, though, giving up. Thanks. He's got daylight. Fucking Barry. Pass the 20. 10. Touchdown, Detroit. A big play there. 77. I never buy the key, so I couldn't tell you. I play everything. Yeah, he certainly played a pivotal role with those two TDs and why they're up on the scoreboard right now. Well, someone's all about winning, aren't they? Because he's not worried about the But if you're talking about the bonus one that they added, yeah, they added the bonus ones. So I don't know what it's going to be like because this is the first time they did it. He wants to continue to do so. Field it about a yard deep. I'm guessing, I don't, I'm guessing you're not going to have to play the first six ones and you're just going to have to, if you already bought the keys to unlock the ones this weekend, that you're probably just going to have to play the ones this weekend to unlock that one. But they didn't want three points. Would be my best guess. Of scoring a touchdown, we'll see if they can do better now. I'm with you on that one. Let's just go ahead and be frank about the whole thing. The only one happy about the three point the kicker, exactly. <laughs> he put it through the post, that's gonna help him at contract time. But that offense, they're thinking, let's get in the end zone this time. I don't know if that helped him at contract time. You, you could have kicked that one through. I don't know about that. <laughs> I don't know about that. 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 <laughs> Super tall. <laughs> Looking to throw. They manned him up. Good pick. Picked off around the 37. 
Man, I'm not going to tell him that you called him old in our pregame meeting, but this guy has been around a long time. There's a trick in the book. He knows it. I mean, like, even wrote a few shit chapters. today, but it doesn't help. This kid sucks anyways, but it doesn't help that he has like a 97 overall team. And a solid run down inside the 30. Nine yards is the pick up there, and they'll have a second and one. Yeah, another good run there. He's been such a big part of their success here this afternoon. And that last carry, it puts him over 100 yards now for the day. And he'll give it here to his running back. And he'll go down here right around the 23-yard line. It's a pickup of six and good enough to move the chain. Like, I feel like I'm going to have to turn into that person that fucking ready to go into that four labs everything, looks up blitzes. Because right I've been playing Ultimate Team since Madden 15. And, for one of the few times here today, and not go I won one Super Bowl in Madden 15. I haven't won one since. I haven't even gotten to the Super Bowl this year yet. I got to the Super Bowl two or three times last year and didn't win. Um, but I've won more games than I ever have won this year because of because of weekend league. This was the blitz I used to run. I'm trying to remember. I don't remember how to do it. I know you moved the line to the right and then did something. I don't even care right now about winning. I'm going to lose. I don't think I have enough time to come back unless I get a turnover. And no signs of the field goal unit. They're going for it on fourth down. And he'll give it here. And that shit was wide open. And he will have the first down before he's tackled at the 12. Just a one yard pickup on the play. And they're able to convert here on fourth and inches. going to turn out to be the final play of this third quarter. See if they stay on the ground for second down. Looks like the defense in press coverage here. Going to give this time to the tailback. And a short pick up there down to about the nine. Just a gain of a yard there. Now it'll be third down. The fourth quarter here. They've got the lead. They want to keep it on the ground. That's what they're doing. Smart football. Keep the clock grinding. Keep it going. But you got to figure now they're going to see more people stacked up at the line of scrimmage as they try and. Hmm. On third down, it's Sanders. And running room hard to come by here. He gets it down to the eight. Only a yard on the pick up there, and it's going to leave him with a fourth down. The best defensive linemen. They play with great leverage so they can get low and not get bowled over by offensive linemen. They have excellent hands. They can throw people off on a play. We just saw a great example of a really good run stop by a guy playing the defensive tackle. All right. So, They're down here in the fourth and try to run. Penalty's not going to help. No, in these types of situations, players will tell you that's extra intensity. From where we sit, it's actually frustration. Not a good play. Wow, that was dumb. <laughs> Just, I didn't even, didn't even realize what happened until right now. And he'll give it here to his running back. And he'll be stopped about a yard shy of the goal line after a pickup of about three. Alright, fuck this guy. Don't even want to play. What streaming software do I use? Well, I'm using my Elgato. So obviously my Elgato HD60 to record everything and I'm streaming through the Elgato to YouTube. I definitely could have beat that last kid. That's for sure. I definitely could have beat that last kid. Uh, I'm going to look at those new cards. Because I think that all those new cards are in the game already. Why am I going to chemistry? 
All right, so we got new veterans, right? Michael Bennett has that horrible damn chemistry. Why they're still giving people that chemistry, I don't know. Can't put any of those guys on my team. Chris Harris is still going for that crazy amount. Like, yeah, I like how he's better speed and play rec, but Trey Flowers' play rec is already like 94 on my team, and his block shed's like 95 or 96, so no thank you. Mike Evans probably, probably gonna have like 90 speed, like probably 90 flat. Yep, I knew it. I knew it. You can't like... How are you gonna come out with a card with 90 speed in March? I know, I know he's not that fast, but like really, that blows my mind. What's my? I want to know what my. I I don't even know what my record is. 64 and 54. 10 games off. Past two seasons have been so bad. I haven't even made it to the playoffs in months. That's bad. I would like an evenly teamed matchup. That's what the fuck I want. This is this 96, 97 overall matchup every game? It's not fun. Some of the big players but, in game, and yep, there it is. Like, what the fuck? Let's get the party. Like, I know why they do it. They literally, they match you up with teams that are better than you to make you want to spend money to buy packs to buy better players to have what they have. But, I don't do that shit. So, what the fuck? Stop. Just stop, Madden. Now the kicker, Brandon McManus, about ready to they don't match based off skill. They don't match based off team overall. I don't care what they say. Yup. Great way to start off the game. This game's so fucking dumb. Picking him up there, that was nearly disaster. And the way that you coach these things, you, you want to make sure you have eyes towards the return guy because you want to make sure that the catch is secured. A lot of teams do that. They have at least one guy. Okay, you're responsible for making sure he secures the catch. He's not always the one that makes the recovery, but he can always sound out the alarm. Hey, ball's on the ground. We gotta get it back. Now a play fake here on first down. And this is caught right along the sideline. What a job of keeping the toes in bounds there. Let's go, Carmichael. Finally fucking doing something and not dropping it. And he's got Dion. Like, this matchmaking system is so broken. 
What's up, Jay? Yeah, Madden is getting very dry for me. Especially since every person I go up against has a crazy team. Every time. It's ridiculous. Like, I was so happy to get Bo. I haven't been able to do anything with him yet. Haven't broken off a big run, nothing. Kudos to your offensive line and the guy carrying the ball because they were in a second and long situation. It seemed pretty dire, but they brought it back to third and manageable with that run. They're going to look to throw. And he takes a shot on the release as this will be incomplete. Pressure, and that's certainly going to be a key to this game going forward. And that time, they were able to get in there and influence the throw. Remember, quarterbacks got to get rid of it. They don't have the tuck rule that they can fall back on anymore. And on their first drive, the offense staying out there. They're going to go for it on four. Not having, like, any fun playing this game right now. They'll look to throw here. And it's a short one here, complete to his tight end. And brought down, but not before he was able to break the tackle, and the extra effort moves the sticks. They've got another first down. The Raider passing game clicking on all cylinders right now. They go play action here on first down. And no escaping this time as he'll go down. They got him for a sack. And plays like that really hurt play calling. They had a really nice gain on the previous play, but gave about half the yardage back on the sack. Excellent pressure up front. Nowhere to go with the football. Down he goes. Should get a new playbook. I say it like... I think I've said it the past like three streams. I feel like I should just get a new offensive playbook. It's like every th every play is almost like a mid midfield pass. He's got it at the 15. And he like I need more short to be honest. Inside the 15. Give him 30 yards there. And now a first down following that long game. That's true. That does happen. From the red zone now, they'll look to throw. Could have threw it to RB. Escaping Wasn't paying attention. Fuck. And it's never good to take a sack. You really don't want to take one down here in this part of the field down near the red zone. At all because you're already pretty much assured of a field goal. Did you take a big sack? It could push you out of range, and that's why defense is. Why I throw that? This is this isn't my day. Today's a Fortnite day. That's what that's what Manning's telling me right now. Yeah, that's the problem. I just, I don't know how to stop things. That's why I lose. Plus, my offense really isn't that great. I just run the ball all the time, hoping it works. These guys will get the football right at the 20 yard line. Now, the Oakland offense heading back onto the field to take over and following the pick six, and they've Decent field position and throwing that pick six. We'll see how they attack this drive. And I think all you say to your guy is, listen, let's just take care of the football a little bit better. Make some better decisions. But I'm sure I've had people unsub to me just because just because of watching me lose on stream. I don't doubt it. They told us they've got confidence. That, that's not a problem. Yeah, not a problem at all. They just want to make sure they get things settled down a little bit for their offense and give their defense a little bit of a chance to rest. Try and run the counter. Try to find a lane, but instead he'll get back to the line of scrimmage and no more. Officially, no gain on the play, and they're left with a third and eight. Like, I literally, um, forgot what I was saying.
And the play clock's running down. They just do get the playoff as he'll look to throw. The Dolphins get there this time, and they bring him down. I'm starting to feel for that quarterback back there. I mean, you know me. Normally, they'll have a lot of empathy for the QB, right? In this case, definitely. He's been on constant duress this entire game. It's a play that has, like, two people blocking. There. And to think, there's still a long way to oh, go this At least I can block two people. None of them. Ready to go now in the second quarter. Brandon Whatever. Oh yeah, this is what I was thinking of before. I like, I think overall doesn't completely matter like when it used to be scheme over team, but I don't, I think that's true in a way. Because in this year's one, if you have the better overall players, they're gonna play. They're gonna play so much better. You're gonna notice it. See, I press the button, but that happens way too much. I throw the I throw the ball, but they don't release it. Just like that stupid threshold shit with the 91 zone. Like if you just, I mean, everyone has 91 zone now, but. Just what I'm saying, like with this year, if you have better players, your team is gonna. There's so much fluke in this game that if you have a better team, most most of the game, most things are gonna go your way. If you have a better team. See, I thought that was supposed to stop the run. Cover four, drop show two. Pinch D line, spread linebackers. Literally clicked RT and did run to the left because I knew that's what he was going to do, and it still doesn't stop anything. It's crazy. Take this one near the 25, call it the 26 yard line. The Raiders offense now, they trot back out. Already down two touchdowns here in the first half. This becomes a pretty important drive, doesn't it? It certainly does, and a lot of teams script plays. We know that, right? They, they have a script to start the ball game. And typically those scripts go between 12 and 24, 25 plays. Down two touchdowns early, probably not very deep into their script. I think that they'll stay with it. I don't think they'll abandon it just yet and try and generate some offense on this drive. Anything. At least three points get that zero off the board. And again this time to the tailback. And they take him down, losing yardage back at the 27. And they'll lose a yard that time, and that's going to lead to a third down. At least win one game. There's a multitude of reasons why I'm losing. I'm losing because I'm playing people that know how to send blitzes, that have better teams than me. I don't want to throw the ball because I don't have good reads. I don't know how to read defenses. And I don't know how to stop blitzes. crazy because my team's average I'd want to say my team's average but I've never spent more time playing Madden than I have this year and spent so many hours and coins I've never made as many coins as I've had this year I've had a mil I've had a, a million coins and over at least four times this year But because I don't know blitzes and I don't want to stop them, can't compete. Just 
try to win uh, let's try to win at least one yeah we can do that sometime if I lose here I'm just gonna end the stream that's just bad fucking content Charles and I settled here in the booth. This should be a fun one. Madden Ultimate Team matchup. Yeah, no, I'm just going to look at some of the stars here. I haven't even played someone with a 94 or 95 team yet. about ready to get us started and we are underway in Foxborough this is fielded a couple yards deep and the decision to come out is going to cost him five as he's taken down right at the 20 It's Rogers. He couldn't quite hold it. Got lucky there, to be honest. Pops out incomplete. But when you're going up against a talented receiver like that, you just know that they're going to bring more people to him, right? They're going to double cover him every chance they get. I think that that is what we're going to see all I mean, game. Maybe long. not on the same thing again. Come up. Thank you. Looking for Johnson, and it's intercepted. Fuck. Near the 42. And they'll set up shop in enemy territory at the 45 yard line. I'm on offense now. Job defensively getting inside a quarterback's head and figuring out, okay, where is he going with the football? Because you can make an educated guess defensively, not all the time, but sometimes. And when you're right, you've got a decent chance of coming away with the football. Just what you want on a first down run, call it eight yards, and it's second and two. That wasn't the best read. Damn, Carmichael drops the ball so much once he gets hit. It's a lot of contact going on there, and in the end, unable to keep two hands on the football and bring it into his body. Everything looked pretty good until the finish. Two yards to go here on third down. First down yardage as he's down at about the 30 yard line. It's a seven yard gain there, and it's good enough to move the chains. Off the play fake, he'll look to throw. Mm, probably could have threw it. Forced out left. Caught Kelsey, left side. That one goes for 24 yards. Really been an ideal start for them. They get the turnover on the opening possession. Now here they are moving the ball straight down the field on their first drive. And that feels good, but you know on their side of the field, all they're thinking is finish this drive off because it took it away, right? So now you've got them back on their heels a little bit. Now go down, put a touchdown in. Oh, ball. You've won the mental battle early in the game, and that may carry over for you. He'll get two out of that run, and it's going to bring up a second and goal. This 
Fucking Dion Lewis scored before Bo. Dion Lewis, a five yard touchdown run. And the Pats have taken the early lead. And he's got it up and through. Now McManus on to kick this one off. This fielded a few yards into the end zone. And the decision to bring it out will cost him about five yards as he'll get this only back to the 20. Jamal Charles on the carry. And he is level. Knocked down hard right at the 20. And he had a nice play there from his free safety position to hold him to nothing. And, Brandon, remember when the free safety was always back away from the line of scrimmage? That's changed. They always <laughs> that changed in a big way. The way we see it now, they're almost mirrors between the free safety and the strong safety. One will be up, one will be back, or sometimes both will be in the same spot. On that play, the free safety was there, no gain. Gets this to the 24 for a gain of four. In today's NFL, you hear all the time about stretching the field and creating space in order to run plays. A toss play will help accomplish that because now you're pushing a defense to chase you all the way to the edges and to the sideline. That's a nice run, probing now early to try and get things done later. And on third down, a nickel formation here defensively. That's not what I want to do. To throw, it's Rodgers. Nowhere to escape, and he... Here we go, Hendricks. Good shit. Stork, Hall of Famer Ted Hendricks. In there to drop him for a loss of 10. And it'll be fourth and long. They do go for it. It's Rodgers. And Ingram holds it in. Only me. Of the pick up there, and that enables him to also pick up the first. Brandon have one word yeah, run it. after that completion for a first down. Lucky analytics. <laughs> well, the analytics say you punt the football there. <laughs> so we're changing the analytics as we go, right? What a big time play for them, and really took a big time chance. Yeah, big time first half chance. No gain on the play that time, and they'll look to convert on what will be a third and four. Now it's Rodgers, and as a defensive end, getting off the ball quickly, swarming to the football, making a tackle. That's what we saw right there. Yeah, pick that. He should have he scrambled. He would have got it. Back a little bit in the run game because you know those defensive ends, they're like in a sprinter stance. They're just headed straight for the quarterback. That was good recognition on that play to hold him to no gain. Again, the offense will stay out there. They've converted once on this drive. What can they do here on fourth down? They're indeed going for it as they look to throw. And he comes back with one complete. And he mm -hmm. across midfield to the 47. He'll wind up getting 11 on that one. And on fourth down, they're able to convert and move the sticks. Here's Rodgers to throw. And no escaping this time as he'll go down. They got him for a sack. And we say it all the time, have to be able to get rid of the ball sooner than that. You have to help your offensive line out. They're going to protect you as best they can. And if you give three to five seconds to throw the ball, they're doing a really nice job. But when you hold it and give up a sack, you're really almost discrediting their work. Caught on the left side. Like, I'm backing him up, and then he's converting. There, 26 yards. When it's super long. So many times we see the crossing route start as a quick hitter, but in this play, he had time in the pocket and waited for him to clear. I need to find a way to get pressure. Back alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. This long drive continues here to start the second quarter. And they're on the move here. They've got it first and ten. Well, just play after play after play on this long drive for the offense. <laughs> Throwing on first down is Rodgers. Fitzgerald's got it right side. 
And inside the 20 before he's brought down. Another nice gain, 13 yards that time, and another first down. I like that one, partner. They go back to back with excellent gains. And really, it shouldn't be a surprise who they were throwing the ball to. He's a, into a double team, and it's intercepted. Read it well, and it's picked. So Give me that shit. Throw him an interception. Ordinarily, we look at the offense and say, what's going on with your scheme? Maybe we should look at the defense and just give them a whole lot of credit. They've got them frustrated right now. Better get the dub for that. Literally, or one and three, so bad. We are set, ready to rock for this Madden Ultimate Team. Match. That's a little better. Guys on your screen, ready to rock as well. Some of the stars. Not of great. Game. And speaking of the game, that's a little better. Let's get right to it. Here's the kicker, Nick Novak, to get us started, and off we go in Madden Ultimate Team. This fielded at the two. And he'll take it back to about the 19-yard line. One and three. That's terrible. the 20 but only to about the 22 yard line three yards on the pickup there and it'll be second down not a big run on the first play of the drive but that doesn't necessarily mean it was a bad play sometimes you're just trying to settle in get your guys a little bit of contact and get things moving Turn the fuck up and now here's a carry heading left there we go ball finally fucking doing something after four games shit Patriot. Took you long enough. Three yards. The ultimate speedster showing that speed at this in front of this home crowd. They love. Or finally just took us to go against someone that doesn't know what they're doing. Carmichael touchdown. on to kick this one off. This fielded at the two. Now a hit and a loose football. Wow. User. Hit stick. Let's go. Touchdown. I'm glad we were paying attention to the rules seminar because we learned the only 
I know this kid's pissed. Is in the last two minutes of either half. Right. Other than that, if that ball's out, whether forward or backwards, it's live and free for anybody. No doubt about it. When you say free, that means he's got free reign to pick it up and go. That's exactly what happened there. Took it in for a touchdown. So here's the kickoff now as he'll get it again following that fumble return for a score. This is taken at his four. That shit was wide open. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. It's kind of why I do outside. That doesn't work, though. Probably have to put him in man for that to actually work. They'll run it now out of the gun. And he's brought down. We'll give him 10 yards on that one, and that'll earn him a fresh set of down. <sighs> I have to admit, I'm excited by that play call. And the end result, because this is a team that's down big early in the first quarter, and a lot of teams are just panic, abandon. See now, why my dumbass? Why didn't I switch it up? Take this one in for a touchdown. A great effort there. Thirty-seven yards. Or just like run, commit to the right. Like, one score game now. So bad. Another explosive run, and one thing I've learned in our time in this game. Yes, the offensive line has to get a lot of credit, but for big runs to occur, the wide receivers have to block well downfield. And then you have to have a good guy carrying the ball too, right? Oh, without a doubt, you need that difference maker lugging the rock. <laughs> and not a bad return here. He gets it out to the 25-yard line. The Patriot offense now set to come back out onto the field. And for them, a touchdown their last go around. Obviously, they'll be hoping to do that again. And when you start plotting for this drive, when you start thinking to yourself, okay, what are we going to do? You don't go away from what you did before because that worked, but you have to be prepared for wrinkles and counters because you know they'll make some adjustments. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. 17 yards there for the Patriots as they've got themselves a first down. And he'll give it here to his running back. And very little daylight there. He'll get a couple up to the 44. That's a good play by the guys on the defensive side of the ball. Held him to a gain of two. And that changes the playbook a little bit now for the guy calling plays. Second and eight. Now he's got to probably think about going to the air instead of maybe staying with the ground game. Damn, Bo doesn't break any tackles. Four yards on the pick. Like, I even got him so he's got the 91 elusiveness. For first. He doesn't break right nothing. There, stringing that play out, pushing further and further towards the sideline. Really good fundamentals by that defense. He was trying to put his foot in the ground and turn on field. He just couldn't. <laughs> no, they really had a picket fence in front of him. No room to find. To get Here we go with the lag. Out of the gun now on third down. Flushed out right. Lag's always fun. And eventually taken down here. Great coverage downfield. You never want to give up a sack. From the O-line's perspective, they hate it for several reasons, especially because they felt like they let little brother down back there in the pocket. Oh, no doubt. They have a ton of pride, and they go into every job wanting to keep that guy clean. They want that uniform with no grass stains, no dirt, nothing on it. I'm pretty sure that was like Freddie B's like first catch. Athletes who are trying to put him on the ground. It goes as a pickup of 23, and that's good for a New England first down. Under a minute to go, clock running in a back and forth first quarter of play. Now a handoff here to his running back. It's a room to there we go, Bo. Finally makes something happen. Patriots. A great play there. 29 yards. And the Patriots add on to their lead. It's good, and it is now 21 to 7. On to kick this one off. Yeah, he he probably is better trucking wise, but he's just he's too slow. Uh, like eighty or what? What does he have? Like ninety speed? Or what does he have for speed? 
Even 91 is just slow. It's just way too slow. In order to play really good run defense when you're playing a 3-4, those three guys up front, the nose tackler and the guys they call the defensive ends, they're usually... Big. Oh, 92, that's not that bad. It's not that bad. And when they do their job well, the guys who play on the inside, those inside linebackers, they will just roam and hit. And the play goes for 19 yards, gives them a new set of downs. All right, not running that again. Off the play fake. All right, I ran man. Okay, good thing. Shit, I was gonna say he shouldn't have got that. Time Pro Bowler Calvin Johnson, the intended target, and it's second down. Try to get one more in here before the quarter breaks. To throw is Young. Off play action. It's hauled in by. Fumble. Thank you. Let's go. Well, at least get an even record before I end the stream. That would be nice. No gain on the play there. Second down. And that's one of the few times they've been able to contain him. He's had a heck of a game, and maybe he's getting a little bit tired from how many times he's carried the ball. But I always think back to what all those old coaches say. The ball's not that heavy. Keep carrying it, kid. Give him five on the carry there, and it'll set up a third down. Here we go. Ohio. Ohio. Back to throw here. Flush to his right. How do you not get your feet in bound? That's crazy. Look how many yards you had in front of you just to get two feet down. That's ridiculous. I'm not sure we could spot any tendency here on this third down. They could have run it or passed it. Either one was available. They chose to try and get it through the air, but they run successful. Yeah, I know. I know he's a trucking back. He should be able to never drop the ball. But that's just a little too slow for me. And it's complete to Kelsey. It'll be a Patriot first down on a pickup of 16. Not a stat we talk about often with tight ends. Bow, though, it's, he's underperforming so far. The NFL in yards after catch last season. Behind two running backs, Le'Veon Bell and David Johnson. Strength and a little bit of niftiness in Travis Kelsey's game. He's going to drop it. I knew he was going to drop it. The collision there jarred the ball loose and brings up second down. My high school coach John Ford used to say all the time, if you're in a bad situation, I knew he was gonna drop that. don't compound it with a bad decision as well. And I think that's what we just saw there. Harassed in the pocket, and he throws in the double coverage anyway. He called you Laddie? He called me Laddie. And First overthrow. First one. See the Pro Bowl tight end. Keep that in mind, too. And it's third down. Even though that one was incomplete, you could see the training that went into that play. He gets out of the pocket, ends up moving to his right. All he's trying to do, though, extend the life of the play. Keep it alive, hoping someone would pop for it. Damn, he stuck to him like glue. The deep ball, but incomplete. And he couldn't hang on to it through the contact. Incomplete. But no second guess in the call here. It was third and long, so throwing the football was probably the smart play to try and pick it up. But they don't get it, and now the defense goes off the field feeling pretty good about themselves gaining some momentum as they force them into a likely punting situation. Damn, I can't get any separation whatsoever. Thank you. Just quit. Save me the freaking stress. Oh boy. I've got to get at least 
four yards. They got five here. You got to feel pretty good about that one. New England on third down. 0 for 3 to this point. They could use a conversion. This is third and seven. Two minutes remain here in the first half. Back to Foxborough after this. New England on third down. 0 for 3 to this point. Someone we'll get open. Conversion. This is third and seven. He'll drop to throw. There you go, Carmichael. And he's finally taken down, but not before getting across midfield and across the 45-yard line. Now a handoff as they run left side. Trying to bounce it outside, but he's only able to get it back to the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play. It'll be second down. So nothing there. I don't know that that's all in the back, though. you got to look at blocking there, don't you? I would agree with that totally. At some point, they have to win at the point of attack. Instead, it was the defense getting it done again and holding them to no gain. Yeah, and he's able to get most of what he needed on the carry there. Seven yards on the gain, and it's third and two now. He'll look to throw. Escaping the pressure right. He may try and run for this. The improvisation gets him only a couple, but that's all I'm he surprised I got that. That was an excellent job of recognizing the situation. His first read wasn't there. Heck, his second read wasn't there. But he bought himself a little extra time scrambling out of the pocket, got to the sticks, and picked up the first down. They'll drop to throw. To the right side, it's Kelsey. A good pick up there of 20 yards. A lot of tight ends just use their size. He's... He, it's hard to say because I just lost... I lost three games straight like two games ago. Wow, what a pick. And... One of those games... Um, Brandon, this is why golf he played pretty good. To never count a score in their head before the ball goes in the cup. This looked like a slam dunk for points on this drive, didn't it? Instead, they throw an interception, and they're going to come away empty. Even though I lost, he, did, he didn't play bad. Young now, on first down, eluding the pressure right. And he goes down, it's a sack. They get him back at his own three-yard line. If we let him get this shit, we'll be ashamed. The Patriots. It's just their first, so they'll have two remaining here before we get to halftime. Off the play fake. Young. Throw left side complete. It's I fucking suck. And now before this first down play, we're going to get a timeout here. As they'll stop it with just like you're like you're right on them. You can't put a hand up. Like you, no, can't do none of that. That's cool. Now a play fake here on first down. Flushed out right. And no escaping this time as he'll go down. They got him for a sack. Sometimes I watch games and wonder why they use play fakes on certain passing situations because it's not going to fool anyone. I don't know if that was the case here, but the end result was the same. No one fooled. I haven't seen it yet. Hopefully I will, but I haven't seen him be better than Foles yet. But he does. 97 throw power does help a lot. But these short runs, they still pay dividends because they can take their toll on a defense and they can add up as the game goes along. You control the clock, you control the ball, and that way you often control the game. And that is incomplete. And actually, Larry, hold that thought. We're right back to the action. Both teams appear ready for the fight ahead, and we resume action here in quarter number three. This is taken at his four. So here they come, the road team now getting the football first to start this third quarter. They have the ball here for the inaugural drive of the second half. 
Pretty big deficit, though. We'll see what adjustments were made in that locker room. I never wanted to make something more important than it actually is, right? I don't want to create more hype than what is there. But this you're is a do that? I'm doing it, though. <laughs> this is a really important drive. And we often talk about teams scripting plays to start a game. A lot of them script to start the second half, too. And they're scripting something that they expect to get them into the end zone and back into this game. We'll see if that script is a good one for him. Steps away to his left. Pick it. Thank you. That'll be tipped and intercepted. Picked off by Mark Barron. Okay, Barron. Okay, Barron. Possession of the third quarter and interception, so maybe a second half tone setter. Indeed, and not the tone they Get Bo Jackson that kicker. I'm honestly not about to spend like 200k on a kicker. Instead of running out onto the field, a real dud for that one. That happened to you? Oh, that's my fault. I didn't see him. Fuck. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. As much football as we watch, we've seen this work many times in the red zone. Like I had him. I should have threw it as soon as I seen him. Give credit to the defense. They outguessed him, were prepared, and intercepted the Instead of waiting. He's gonna lock one deep left side. He's got me burned. Damn Sean Taylor. Damn, bro. Brandon Cooks, an 80-yard touchdown. And his guys are able to make this a close game again. That's the score you felt they had to have here in the third quarter to get back in this game. And you know that there was an emphasis on their side. Hey, we know this. We know where we are. But sometimes that binds you up so much. You got you burned. Get the score. A perfect combination of urgency. Yeah, I know it does, but... Like, I need my coins for every other position. Because I don't kick field goals that often. And I lose way too much to spend 200k on a kicker. Bad enough to throw it anywhere, but that drives coaches insane when they're thinking about, hey, when I could use that for multiple positions. Who you thinking you got three on the board for sure, and to come away with nothing? That's a really tough one for them to swallow. Yeah. Will they make up for it? From the shotgun, he'll look to throw. Flush to his right. It's just a gain of a couple there on the scramble, and now it's third down. Yeah, not much there that time, and I think we were both wondering once he got out of the box whether he just throw the ball away, and he winds up only picking up a yard or two. New England on third down, two for five to this point. This is third and four. They'll look to throw here. And he's got the completion. Yeah, rocked. <laughs> a big hit. Knocked down sideways. That'll be a New England first down, a gain of 12. Possible run anticipation here as the D line sandwiches together. See if you don't come off him, that's a first. Up to the 43. This is what happens sometimes when you abandon the running game. It's hard. That's an easy first if he doesn't come off that block. That mentality of firing out and hitting people, hard to get him started again occasionally. Oh, come on. He's going to blow his way forward to the 48. Four yards on the pick up there as it'll leave him with a third and about four more for a first. So where'd all that running room that he had in the first half go? Because it looks like it's drying up a little bit here. Someone made some adjustments, it appears, at least on this drive. Escaping the pressure right. Looking left I got lucky there. Didn't mean to throw it on the run. But it worked. Sometimes it's designed, and sometimes you just have to know when to leave the pocket and move and make something happen. And on that play, he's able to get on the run and was still accurate. Here we go, Bo. And he's free going down the Thank you. Side. It's a foot race. And he'll take it into the end zone for a Patriot. For real, though, this is the worst I've played in months. Big play there. His second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Patriots add six to their lead. McManus on to kick this one off. This is taken at the three. They'll bring it back to just about the 25. Call it the 24-yard line. 
Now this offense about ready to take over again. And last time the formula was pretty simple. One play drive, long pass. That maybe they just want to do that again, right? And that's exactly how you want to draw things up. Whether it's on your grease board, right, in your playbook, one play drives exactly what you want on offense. But they have to be someone's gonna get open. Not having a letdown. It yeah. was fairly easy last time. They can't expect that going forward. And yeah, we'll see if it's that easy here. Ten yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. Seeing that play and understanding just how tough it is to cover tight ends, especially the ones running around the NFL nowadays, makes me glad I didn't make it in that league. I would have had a really difficult time. But now you get to sit up here with me. Yeah, and that's fun. Isn't it? Right there on first down for them. Brings up a nice second down for them. It's a gain of 11 yards that time, and it produces a new set of down. Back now in Foxborough. As we are just about set to go here in quarter number four. They go play action here on first down. If someone's not open now, they will be. There's no one's gonna make the tackle. Now he'll let it go deep right side. He couldn't quite hold it. Got hit. Ball pops out incomplete. This defense was definitely alert to the possibility of the deep ball, and they were more than ready for it. They've got the lead, fourth quarter. Maybe can expect more passes like that downfield. John, the ball comes out. Another fumble. Okay. Now you can quit. Brandon, I don't want to violate any of our broadcasting rules by declaring a game over before it's over. It's like the third or fourth fumble this game. Absolutely, it was a two-possession game. It is a two-possession game at this stage in the fourth. They needed points out of that drop. And obviously now, no chance at all to get those points that they so desperately needed. And a short gain there as he'll get it up only to about the 20. Come on, Bo, break one more off. Give him three on first down. It'll set up a second and seven. And they'll go with a ground attack here. And maybe a measure of revenge there. He's had his way in this one, but this time they get him behind the line. On this day, the ground has been his, but at least on that individual play, we just saw the defense finally with a win. Yeah, they finally got one, and that's a win for them, but all game long. He's seen the holes, and they've been huge for him. Kind of like a baseball hitter in the zone. The ball seems bigger, and he's just whacking it. These guys, they've got it going today. The 21 yards there as they convert on third. Big hook up there. Forced to throw it on third down. The connection's going to keep the drive alive and also keep the clock moving. Yeah, and from a defensive perspective, didn't get a sack, didn't knock the ball free, didn't break up the pass. The clock keeps running on you. You're in a dire situation now. It's a pickup of three, and we have now arrived at the two-minute warning. <sighs> we'll come back to wrap this one up after this. Shift together here from the D line. And he'll give it here to his running back. And a minimal gain here as he's up to about the 47 yard line. Just a one yard pickup there, and it's going to make it third down at six. I like a guy who understands the situation. I also like a guy who, who you look at him and you say, That looks like a guy who knows the coach is going to say, Guess what? You drop this one, you'll be carrying around the training facility for an entire week. <laughs> Maybe flashback to high school or college. All right, Cole Pepper. That's all right. Right. Anyone get the ball out while he's, while he's sitting there? All right. Back to the coach. He's in big trouble. And with things looking pretty good on two overthrows in one game, keep the offense out there. I love it. Go for it here on four. Looking to throw. Going down the middle, and it's complete. And he's able to get the first. He is out of there. Well, guys, probably going to end the stream here. Probably not the most entertaining stream. Definitely wasn't the funnest. Um, definitely wasn't the funnest stream for me. Took, what, what, are we, what did we go? Two and five? That's bad, but either way, thank you to everyone who came through. If you enjoyed, make sure you click that like button down below. Subscribe if you're new, and as always, I will see you in the next one.